Hi everybody and welcome to the second video in this series all about asking questions. Now today we are going to focus on open and closed questions. More specifically we will focus on the idea of open questions and what are open questions. Now in the previous video lesson, I spoke about the importance of introducing the context to your questioning and setting expectations. Those expectations are what you expect the people or person responding to your questions to do in terms of how they answer your questions. Now, if you set your expectations correctly, you will always receive the kind of response that you require. But what is the difference between an open question and a closed question? Now, I can answer that quite simply. A closed question is a question designed to elicit a single word response. Usually the answer to a closed question is yes or no. Do you like ice cream? Yes. Do you want some ice cream? Yes. Do you want chocolate ice cream? No. Okay. So closed questions are specifically designed to get the person or people responding to give you single words, yes or no answers. Now closed questions are great when you're looking for somebody to commit to something. You're looking for someone to say yes, to give you the go ahead. And that's when closed questions are really useful. But most of the time, we, when we're asking questions, we're gathering information. So we have to ask what we call open questions. However, there is a problem that many people face when asking open questions. You're expecting to ask this open question and for information to flow, but that doesn't always happen. Sometimes you get a very short answer. Sometimes you only get a single word answer. Not necessarily yes or no, but a single um, short phrase such as, I don't know. I've no idea. I couldn't tell you. Now, in the previous lesson, I spoke about the importance of introducing the context to your questioning and also setting expectations. If you have successfully introduced the context of your questions and set the expectations, that is you have told the person or people you are asking what kind of information you require and how you require that information to be delivered, then you will never have to worry about asking open and closed questions. The key to successful questioning, whether you're asking open questions or closed questions, is to make sure you set the expectations before you ask the question. So if I want a commitment from you, a yes or a no, to move forward on a project, I'm going to tell you that before I ask you the question. Okay? So I'm going to say to you, I need to know from you, are you ready to move forward with this project? yes or no yeah then you're going to give me a yes or a no answer because I have set the expectation I have told you how to answer the question yeah whereas what I can say is what I need to know from you now is how prepared are you to take the next step with this project are you ready right now to, to make the commitment that, that we require or is there something stopping you from moving forward at this point in time so, what's the situation? You can see, therefore, that if I set the expectations, every time I ask a question, I set an expectation of what information I require, then whether I'm asking open questions or closed questions, I'm always going to get the response that I require. 